world premiere. What is this? Not Hades. Slay the Spire too? Nice. Slay the Spire, uh... Oh shit. Oh, this is Dead Cells' new game. Oh wait, no, it's not. They added the Dead Cells guy to the game? This looks kind of cool. Another vampire survivor is fine. I'll put it in my basket, bruh. You can fucking go play the next FIFA, you fuck. Take that shit, whatever. I'm not over the genre yet. I still like my vamp survivors. I, I still enjoy the genre. I don't give a shit about playing if more people come out with it. Different iterations. The city's got it all. Bartenders, debt collectors, doctors, waiters, enforcers, killers. Now there's a new kind of killer in town. The bullet might have come from across the street, but the gun came from under it. Black market dealers are just like anybody else. They do their work, they clock out, they go home. Nobody keeps better records than a crook. I've heard of this game. Killers always leave a trail. All I got to do It looks is cool if you like solving investigations. Before they kill again. Yeah, I, I've heard the game is really good. Is this another fucking Polya? Oh, my time at Sandrock. Oh, our time. Co-op. Ah! We didn't think the Viking raids could get any worse. The Danes are coming! You, a lord of England, must tame the land. Oh, shit. Establish a thriving village and keep it supplied as it grows. Construct well, this... fortifications and build a mighty castle. Train your forces and prepare to man the ramparts. Oh, this For actually looks kind of cool. These have harnessed an ancient terror. What? The fuck? In this world of steel and scale, only the bravest leaders, the ones who can defend their strongholds. The 
ones who can raise an army. Uh. The ones who can fight together. Will be known. As Dino Lords. Okay, this is this looks like it could be Wish good. Now on Steam. But there's it it I don't know. That one's like you gotta try it. They either pull it off or it's the weirdest shit ever. There's potential there. Looks mobile. Yeah, that's so why we don't trust your opinion. If the first thing you think when you see a top-down game is mobile, you're a fucking idiot. bad i'm personally just like kind of i'm just kind of over metroidvanias i feel like there's so fucking many i want vampire survivors on playstation vampire survivors is coming to playstation the game people have described as the most fun i've ever had with one hand you can play as a dog there are no vampires in this game you'll get the right build and just delete a whole screen of enemies the garlic looks like balls vampire survivors Amazing. is coming to playstation <laughs> Hey, yo, it's good that they're on PS PlayStation now. Is this some Rambo shit? Or is this still Vampire Survivors? It's a Contra Vamp Survival crossover. Interesting. I mean, it's kind of sick, man. You know, Vampire Survivors literally started the flood of all the Vampire Survivor games, you know, and all these different devs have found success. So it's pretty cool. Seeing the game's trajectory. My name is Eric Hillman, and I am the composer for Flintlock. I would describe the world of Flintlock as this beautiful mixture of dust and dirt and grime with magic and gods and wonder. My main focus for the music in Flintlock was trying to achieve a sound that felt unique to this world and unique to this setting, unique to these enemies, unique to these characters. For the idea of combat in this game, I wanted it to feel very specific and specifically small. For the gods, I went completely in the other direction. I really wanted it to feel like you were up against something awesome and <laughs> something epic and kind of like you were up against a real challenge. Oh yeah, I remember seeing the footage of this game when they first announced it. I'm most excited for players to experience a type of game and a type of world setting that we don't really see that much, that we haven't really seen that much in video games yet. 
Pieces of the gods below. World premiere. Okay. I've never heard of that game. Never alone too. Actually, you're always alone. It was not always like this. Our empire was lost to centuries of mist. Did we overuse the Perlas? Their infinite power? Maybe. The horrors were born, and that day, the cataclysm began. We sought refuge on the peak, and we grew stronger there. Then, one night, instead of fear, came hope. She bent the perlas to her will. With her, we stood. Unbreakable. Hmm. That looked interesting. I don't know. Take our hourglass, hero. Collect your bearings and focus your mind. Oh shit, is this getting patches? I would revisit this. And enter Death's Realm once again. This game just needed more content. I think you can kill Death Cloud? We don't have a string for him. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know if this game patches a lot. Who would it be with that fire mayhem? That guy's new. Allow me to interfere as a god. Zero patches so far? Yeah, right. It looks very not good. Nah, this is a good Vampire Survivors game. Rise again, hero. This is not your end. Oh, Act 2, April 20th. Ah. Yeah, this is a great showcase because they're just showing world premieres over and over, so... They're not wasting fucking time. They're just fucking pogging off. I I appreciate that. That's good. When oh. Earth turns against you. Survival is all that matters. We are pioneers of our time. Isn't this game out? We live to expand. Never mind. I'm thinking of something else similar. We live to rebuild. Yeah, like that end zone game. We live to survive. Do you play There Are Billions? I have. That game's great. Give it, give it like a month or two. They'll announce that There Are Billions too. There, there are two billions. There's, there's two billion. Or there, there are trillions. Dyson Sphere program's pretty sick. If you're in the mood for a game like that.
Fuck. That was World so random. Premier. Am I going back to Frostpunk before the new one comes out? No, I'll just wait for the new one. Oh yeah, I remember this game. This game was all right. It was cool. It, ha it has a charming style. Everything is getting a sequel, man. Everybody over here getting sequels over here, man. Over here we're getting fucking shut down over here, man. I want a fucking sequel, bruh. Is this kind of like Rimworldy, with like prison architect style? Oh shit! Huh. That kind of reminded me of Prison Architect. It's a bird. It's a ball. It's with a Rimworld a style. <laughs> what the fuck is this? What the Okay, let's have a break. Nah, man, I'm fucking good, dude. We can keep going, bro. Still hyped. Let me check my fucking blood pressure. Secrets and whispers. Brought now to the fore. Oh my god, darkest dungeon, bruh. Was this game early access? I forgot. The light of victory casts a long shadow. And in that nighted gloom, your fragile triumph is under siege. Decency must be defended. Wait, is this a roguelike mode? Uh... Righteousness reinforced. This realm must stand fast against those who would seek to poison it and bleed it dry. I don't fucking know that. Kingdom. These corrupted lands. They are yours now. And you are bound to them. Hmm. Hello, I'm Anwar Noriega, CEO and co-founder of Wabi Sabi Games, a team of developers mainly located in Latin America. Growing up, we were heavily inspired by retro platformers, anime, and graffiti, and wanted to share all that love with the world with our own very first video game. Rakugaki.
This is the first project we have created together as a team, and we are very proud to be both published by Gearbox Publishing and also included as part of Riot Games on the Represented Founders program. Now, here's the first look. World premiere. I'll watch because of the dog. He convinced me. They erased everything that made our city great. Our art, and even the people, scrubbed and drained. But I know what I have to do. The only way to resist... ...to get our voices back. with Raku Gaki. Okay, so you spray paint shit. That's all we know. You spray paint shit. Broken Roads is a post-apocalyptic narrative-driven RPG set in the desolate beauty of the vast Australian outback. Oh my god, chat, you guys are gonna love this. To survive, you'll have to make I know you guys choices, love rectangles, the moral fucking compass, words. An all new alignment system that will test your worldview against nihilist, humanist, oh, utilitarian, yeah. and Machiavellian ideas. Oh Become yeah, a Chad. hired gun, a jackaroo, a surveyor, or a member of a barter crew. And discover their unique attribute bonuses, starting skills, and reputation within the world. Form bonds with a diverse cast of companions, each with their own moral leaning and ideal outcome for the many challenges you'll face on your ah. journey across Western Australia. Holy fuck, bro. Chat, I'm excited for you. Broken Roads is available now. Broken Roads... Okay, okay. Avalon has been reduced to the shadow of a bygone age. Nightmares have breached the last standing bastion of reverie. The heroes of the Raven's Watch are our last hope to overcome these evils. Oh wait, Raven's Watch? Oh yeah, this game was good. That's not enough to kill me. I forgot about this game. I think it was early Raven's access. Watch. Heed my call. It was 1.0. I am Morgan. For Avalon! And return my dear brother to his eternal rest. Oh, wait, no, there's still early access. Lurks deep within the shadows. Mate, yep, yep, there's still early access. Damn, that game, I thought it's been out for a while. This game, oh yeah, this game, I played this one on Sub Sunday. It was actually a cool game. Oh, they're on the third one. That It was actually kind of a cool game. It had a bit of a uniqueness about it. It felt like you were playing on like a, a map. When you press M in a game, but like a different, I don't know how to fucking describe it.
Yeah, I mean, this shit, Hyperlight Breaker could be really good. They're doing that, they're, they're going like Risk or Rain mode where one to two is a massive change. Oh yeah, the last spell was a solid game too. of Runenberg. Yeah, that game's pretty sick. I think I tried the demo for this game, but it wasn't as good as I... It, it, it looks. Yeah. This game looks super satisfying to play. Or, it looks satisfying, but it, I wasn't feeling it. It looks so sad. Maybe I gotta go back and play it. I don't know. They had a demo. It does look cool. Yeah, that's why, yeah, it looks sick, but the demo, I don't know. Out now in early access. I would try it again. The trials are upon us. Will we finally see one worthy of the chalice of immortality? Now, I'd be cool with a wizard who could survive past the first round. Wait, is this Wizard of Legends? This wizard wields fire arcana. Easy to learn, hard oh, to master. Oh shit. Maybe the contest is finally heating up. Smell that burning. That's the scent of failure. She's onto an electrifying strategy. Earth meets lightning. Mmm, lightning gets me all tingly inside. Welcome this looks to cool. Dadsville. Population, her. Now these four have the right idea. Any rules against teaming up? Nope. Using others as shields is a the time spells look tradition. awesome. Incredible. The best I've seen yet. But to win, it will take a champion. A master. No. A legend. Damn, bro. I gotta give it to these guys. Bro, these indie devs, the way that, that was a massive change to Wizard of uh, Legends. The, compared to the first one, that was a cool fucking upgrade. That was actually fucking cool. The first game is so satisfying to play. I played this game on Sub Sunday too. It was decent. God damn. I would totally play Wizard of Legend 2 right now. I don't think it said it was out though. What's happening with Brotato? See, Brotato is one of the best vampire survivors. I would say Brotato's in like the top five. Easily. Top five vamp survivor. They, they molded the popular Binding of Isaac style beautifully with Vampire Survivors. Like, they pulled it off so well.
It's gonna be very interesting when the new Switch comes out. It's basically completely confirmed that there's a new one. But, uh... Even though LOL the Switch, you can't deny. It's a fucking great console. The accessibility on it is pretty insane. And if they keep adding or open up a better indie library... I mean, obviously the Steam Deck is gonna be better. Streets of Rogue 2 is a high-octane RPG sandbox set in a vast, randomly generated open world. With this ambitious sequel, our goal is to create the most open-ended and fun sandbox experience ever and evolve the ultimate freedom of choice that made the original game a cult hit. In Streets of Rogue 2, your mission is to overthrow a corrupt president of a small country, either solo or with friends via online co-op. How you reach your goal is completely up to you. Assemble a mercenary hell? army and plan a coup. Stage a zombie virus outbreak. Or just chill out, build a farm, and totally ignore the main quest. Pick from a diverse roster of playable character classes, each with their own unique, weird traits. Wow. Take a look at these glorious bastards. Hacker, chef, cultist, wrestler, detective, ninja, also gorilla, and werewolf, and uh, investment banker, and many more. Be sneaky, or go guns blazing, or make others do your dirty work. Get inventive and experiment. There are multiple ways to complete each mission. Wreak havoc with a vast arsenal of weapons, gadgets, and vehicles. This game looks Machine cool, guns, but this ain't my rays, type of game. Bear traps, check. Supercars and speedboats. It's a cool. Check. It looks Boom awesome boxes, though. Banana peels, rat summoning ocarina, uh, Necronomicon. Uh, check, I guess. The huge procedurally generated map of Streets of Rogue 2 features multiple beautiful biomes. Yeah, it looks like there's a lot cities, to do here. Serene countryside, mysterious caves, sunlit islands, creepy graveyards. I'm, I'm overwhelmed. There's too much shit to do. World, I don't know where to go. Quirky inhabitants and write your own story. I'm getting anxiety Streets wondering what the fuck to do in your Steam game because there's too much shit year. to do. Add the game to your wish list. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be there and there's a thousand things to do. I don't know where the fuck to start. So I don't wanna play it. Oh shit, Polya, bruh. I mean, Paul World, <laughs> not Polya. I gotta give it to this game. When it was first coming out, it looked like it was just a piece of shit, but then playing it blew my mind. It was actually not a piece of shit. Oh, this game's gonna be cool to play. This is gonna be sick. Fell beasts overwhelm you. Unite. Bolster your defenses. This game, the concept of this is cool. This combat, I don't know yet. Because it's 33 people online. I can't tell if the combat's good. The fiends seek to consume you. The fall may yet be saved. And the actions of the Valiant are rewarded in relics eternal. Great is the wrath of God, and the second death may take you. Yet together, hope and help remain. Now this game has a cool concept, bruh. Indulge in modest vanity. You uh, like 33 Make people together to doing PVE content. Quickly rejoin the fray. There's something interesting if they pull this off. I just it's hard to say. Kills. 33 do. 
mark my words. Only through pain and sacrifice will 33 souls become 33 immortals. Yeah, now this looks sick. I this that I hope they pull that off, man. I, 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 it's always interesting when they change up the regular formulas. Yeah, if like 33 players together are trying to get to the last boss, that could be cool. Anyone can be whoever they want to be. And nothing says you more than a can of healthy spinach. Spike D with its special secret ingredient. Kids, remember your five a day. Oh yeah, this game looks cool. Mouse. Stunlock Studios? Oh yeah, V Rising devs. Battle right devs. E-Rising is a great game. I just don't really have a desire to play it. It is a good game, but the loop isn't super satisfying. To go back. So that's just a new boss they added. You can probably get his ability. Yeah, I mean, I, V Rising was great when it came out, but like I said, I don't know. The loop isn't that great to go back and play. I, it, I'm not like excited about it. World premiere. of Lebanon. It's a roguelike, because he respawned and learned from his mistakes. Never mind. I 
I get, it has a cool style about it, sure. But this looks like... <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? It is Prince of Persia. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the fuck? It is Prince of Persia. Oh. What is up with Prince of Persia and constantly fucking making Metroidvanias? They already had their big ass fucking game, dude. I think it's over. Well, shit. That was kind of like a decent event. Sure, man. There were some alright games here and there. Brian, I'm on shit. Yeah, I mean, it was a it was a decent event. There was like two to three games that I already knew were coming out that I'm still looking forward to. So it's kind of like uh, doing it up. That was cool, man. It's it was still cool to watch it, right? Most are sub Sunday. The Prince of Persia is from Dead Cell Devs. Wait, really? Is it on Steam? Prince of Persia: The Rogue. Are the rogue prince of what the fuck was it called? Oh yeah, it is. Wait, is this prince of is this dead cells devs? A rogue prince, dude. It's like appearing and then disappearing. Evil empire. Oh shit! Wait a minute. Is this from dead cell devs or dead cell DLC devs? What the fuck is this? Why why isn't it not just dead cells? Do they is it a different dev that did motion twin? Cuz if you look at motion twin, motion twin was the publisher uh and they developed in-house dead cells the original but then maybe they got bought and now it's a different publisher ubisoft evil empire so did evil empire buy the dead cells devs or did they just change their name i don't know i haven't played the dlcs but if the dlcs have good reviews I mean, this has the medley of pain bundle. It has 130,000, but that bundles like a bunch of the DLCs. DLC bundle? I don't know, man. I'm not going to fucking look it up. Let's pretend it is the Dead Cells devs. That is a game changer because they might actually pull this off because Dead Cell devs know what the fuck they're doing when it comes to combat. The art style is like super minimal. It's, it's kind of, huh. Yeah, that's the biggest saving grace here. I don't fully give a shit about another fucking left-right game. Because there's a million of them. Oh, there's actual gameplay here. Hmm. Huge downgrade from Dead Cells? I mean... Yeah... This is a tutorial. What 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 when you get into it?
I mean, I think it looks decent. But a little bit looks a little too... I don't know, man. It looks okay, but it's something about it looks like a downgrade from Dead Cells. Like, this is... Maybe it is a little too empty or something. Like, it looks solid, but... Yeah, I don't know, man. The music is the best part.